now to see how it all unfolds. Peter Walsh and Robbie Neal. I reckon it'll be south by a fair margin. And Robbie, you think? Oh, I think so too. They've been the best team and uh, I think they've got the ability to score and, and put uh, too much offensive pressure on Norwood. Let's see what... There's a few of them, all right. There's Hollock. They've got a hand pass out of trouble. Bounces all right to Fitzgerald. Did well. Oh, free kick might be going against Brown, who was tackled. Holding the ball call. And she's a little bit disappointed. Cutting. Cutting. To half forward. Doesn't clear the pack. Good mark down there by... Time it's over on the side where we're broadcasting. And that's not a very, very good kick, although it's done well. Williams. Williams for South. Into the middle. And there's Gore, the surfer. Gore's kick oh so good. Across into the true middle of this ground. Whiteley has it. Whiteley swings the ball wide. Another busy player out there is Hammond. Hammond runs and runs quickly. Watching from here, it'll be picked up by McMahon. McMahon's caught! Watching the umpire holding the ball. Between the arcs, be able to accelerate the game, but even going at goal, um, her turn of speed's going to be a real worry. Pick into play. Now, is there to be a mark? Well, well this is as close as they've got to goal. Uh, it's the last touch rule, so South will clear, but Norwood at least getting a sniff of what it might be like if they can grab some of the bounce at all. It just gets flicked back out. Here's Hammond for South. Into the middle. Back it goes to Buchanan for South. In towards the half-forward line. Row for South. A lot of South movements. And that kick to half-forward is good. Peter Walsh and Robbie Neal. Kick. In towards full forward. The hand pass by... That was a mensal who's got the orange boots on. Now it's McCarthy on the left. Boots a full forward. Good mark out there. And Hatchar who took the grab. That late, but uh, this might be the one that uh, is required to sort of break the ice. Gives it plenty. Gives it plenty. It's a goal. It's cleared the pack. It's a goal. I don't know Bill Economy speaks of her fondly. So, uh, no, she's a she's a terrific competitor of the way she plays. And um, she's very, very, um, she's smart. You can see her on the spread now. She's um, demanding the footy. And I think it'll go through her now. Dangerous signs for Norwood, even though there's only been one goal scored. That was a long kick from Hatchard. You just think South starting to move the ball with precision and creating a bit of loose uh, space up on that forward line. Well controlled and well positioned in their defensive setup um, around this stoppage. Yes, they are. There was Hatchard off. Got it across towards Munyard. Well, she, I think she came off. Oh, she's just really, really yeah. upset there. She gets angry, and then I think she ends up sort of coming back on. So it'll be interesting to see what happens out of this. Well, she's very, very angry, and while she's angry, there's a real chance for Gum to knock the ball forward. Kick off the ground as a goal! Kicked off the ground by the Cat! Cat Williams! And it bounces, and will the time run out? Hand pass over the top. Pollock's taken. Free kick. Too high. Play on's the call. He's called play on. The umpire's called play on. And Norwood will go. Was that an error or not? Free kick was called. And I'll tell you what, everybody stopped. Oh, 20 out, 45 degree angle. Pete comes in. Kicks a goal. There are only Norwood players. And the kick... There's not a good one. There'd be some disappointment there. Busting through the pack. Brilliantly done there by Hatchard. Hatchard runs. Hatchard bounces. Hatchard now stops. Goes back and gets the hand pass on. She spotted Munyard. Munyard flicks the ball wide. It'll come back towards Hatchard. Hatchard throws it on the boot. Three on one. Oh, gun marks brilliantly. That's in a half forward. 55 from goal. What a grab. Themselves in. Hassan's there. Picked up over the shoulder was Riley. A free kick. Well, it's in pretty good hands, Sally, so, and this could be it. It could be eight scoring shots to three in dead level if we're successful with this kick. What's going to happen, Sally? Goal. <laughs> Scores are level. Exactly the way Steve Simons would have wanted it. Out of the middle. Gore crashes the pack. Kicks long. South need a goal. And they might get one because Gum comes out and takes the mark, but... I'm being unfair. He's too far out to score. She wants someone down the ground to be involved. Mensel's down there with the orange boots. But Gum comes in. And Gum's kicked that a fair way. Oh, that is a monstrous kick. And I reckon Harvey! Harvey! 
has taken the mark. Absolutely fantastic mark, but the, the mark by Christy Harvey, fantastic body catch. It's exactly what South wanted uh, in reply to. Kick by Riley in towards half forward. Hollick. Hollick's too far out to score. Or oh, is she? Is she? Kicks in towards full forward. Is there a mark? No mark paid. In defence, it'll be picked up by Northcote. Northcote's kick is good. The relieving kick was good, marked by Hammond. Hammond. Wide towards centre wing, clears the pack, bounces towards the boundary line, not quite out. The gun and run will be required. The ball delivered for South, and it's not going to be delivered too far because Hollick's got it. Hollick's kicked the skipper. McMahon runs, kicks, goals. No, I didn't watch the footy because I knew her reaction was going to dictate exactly what happened. Here's Gore. I'm going to ask this question. Harvey marks it centre half forward. What if it is a draw? I don't know if there's extra time. I wouldn't have a clue. Harvey Gum marks. Gum was on the lead. Courtney takes the grab. Scores a level 12 and a half gone. Gum kicks. She's got the distance. She's got the goal. South in front by a goal. Off the ground will do. It will do because South get the boot. Off the ground, in towards the back pocket. Players throw their bodies in. And it'll roll towards the line and it'll be picked up inside the line. The kick there by McMahon down there again is smothered. I'll give you the chip. In the gloom at the Peter Motley Oval. Leah Cutting. 40 out. Kicks towards full forward. Off hands. Hollick. Hollick. Couldn't quite pick it up. It's pushed through for a behind, I think. We'll have to wait for the... Yes, it is. It's a behind. So that could, it could be another we'll chapter. It. A minute and 20 seconds remaining in the grand final. South lead. And the short pass is on. And the mark is taken by Molly McKendrick, who is told by all and sundry. And the coach down there, Chrissy Steen, says, Cool it, cool it, cool it. Kick. Oh, over the top. Gump can't mark. Hits the deck, rolls towards the boundary line and goes over. And we've hit 16. Oops. She kicks through a nest of Norwood players and one of them taking the mark is Benson over the top towards the half forward line. Hollick, who's been superb. Hollick, short pass, bounces in towards full forward. Almost siren time, five points the difference. Kick will be taken now by, in defence, Harvey. 30 seconds left. Harvey belts the ball long. It's all Norwood at centre wing. They've got 20 seconds to win the final. Short pass comes back there from Campbell. Got to roll Campbell and go. Wing. He can't go back. Millard's taking the ball. South lead by five points with 15 seconds to go. Metre ridge. There'll be a kick taken. It'll be Millard, but the siren's going to sound. Millard at 55. Can't kick it that far. South lead by five points. Millard kicks. South win. Siren sounds. Panthers win the grand final by five points. 4 6 30 to Norwood. 4 1 25. Let's hear it for South Adelaide. What a stirring game. The scores might not have been large as far as goals kicked by both sides, but the game had absolutely everything. Exhausted athletes now. Those that have won are so thrilled. Why wouldn't they be? Well, I reckon you've heard just about enough.